pan pastels. What are they? Today's video, we are looking at the pan pastel starter set. This one has been used just a little. I'm not really into pastel because of it being so messy and I don't like using fixative. This set and all pan pastels come in these pan sets that you can screw all together, which is great for storage. And in the bottom, which is a bigger little case, you've got some sponges because you use the pan pastels with art sponges. You stroke the pastel inside and these are screw lids. And we'll take a better look with our camera view. So let's take a good look at what's in here. We unscrew and you can see it's flat. These are artist pastels. Now, I'm not a pastel artist, but this set also, because it's starter, comes with some sponges. And that's how you use these pastels. They come in a cake form. You unscrew these lids because they're all stacked together. So you take this lid off and you use these applicators, this sponge, and you stroke the pastel onto here. And then, as I've been testing it earlier this morning, I have been working on a kind of dramatic sky scene. And the problem I have with pastels is I'm not keen on their texture. This pan pastel set, that is no longer a problem.
contest. <laughs> it was such fun. We were not allowed to be part of that. But we wanted to tell you all about it. Go and see it. <laughs> it's on a channel. And then we unscrew the red holding on to the vest and the red comes off and again the black revealing the blue underneath now sometimes i have to take this off camera they don't they don't screw and unscrew as easy you know they can jam a bit because they are, um, you can see the sides, it's ridged for the screwing mechanism. And so they can get a little stuck. But if you're not rushing and you do it slowly, everything will be okay. So this is what you get in the starter set. So there are six little tubs, but you get five colours. A red, a blue, a yellow, a white and a black. Then you get this mixing sponge, which is a synthetic art sponge, which is very good for blending. You can get quite a few different techniques using just this one sponge because it is um, circled here at the end and then it's square uh, straight at this end you see what I mean and square here so you've also got a flat straight bit here you could also use it completely down like that or just on the tips here and I've tended to use just the ends here because the circle end or yes the you know curved tends to blend better than the straight to give me circular motions instead of straight edges and then in here is basically it's like an eyeshadow applicator that you could use and that came with it and then i got i can't find it now but there was a plastic stick with like a plastic triangle, like a trowel, a little bit like this, my um, paint palette knife thing, but it was in plastic. And then these applicators came with it as well. I don't know whether they came in there or if I bought them separate, but they are, again, little synthetic covers that you slip on the end and then you use, I use this for demonstration, you put it on the end here, I could probably use this, and you go around like that. We'll test that theory. And then there is uh, flat ones. So let's see if I can put this on. Yeah, it fits on the palette knife really well. Don't know whether it would stay on, but you go in here like that and then just go around like so you see like here on the table so yeah really push it on there yes so you can use your palette knife if you've got a small one and again just another a different shaped it's kind of not triangled it is just you know rectangled <laughs> so yeah those are the things you get in the starter set basically I'm gonna say that and that are your starter set they are light fast they are completely art pastels for artists it's just in a different format that's all so yeah they're cleaner that's what i do find 
Um, as I said, I don't use pastels very much because I don't like the mess and I don't like having to use fixative because of the harsh, toxic chemicals and everything. Um, plus, I don't like sprays, they get everywhere. Sometimes, as I've said, I use milk to fix everything, but I didn't have any to hand. Um, and again, you've got to spray it and it's messy. So that's why I'm not really that keen on pastels and charcoal because it's a lot of mess and you can't really contain it, you know. So, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this introduction to the pan pastels. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!